Hello guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I will be showing you guys my render settings because I don't know what to upload. But anyways, shout out to Heish's YouTube channel because he was the guy who originally gave me these renders. So anyways, let's go! And also consider subscribing. So obviously you're going to need Sony Vegas in order to be able to do this tutorial. What I've got here is Sony Vegas. Um, any version of Sony Vegas will do. Okay, so once you got your footage, what you want to do is click this little paper with the, the blue arrow. So, once you're here, what you want to do is you want to click Magix AVC slash AAC MP4. And once you click this, you want to click on um, Internet HD 1080p 59.94 FPS. And, and if you have a NVIDIA GPU... You can use the NVIDIA NVENC because that means your videos should render out a lot quicker. Okay, so either way, once you're here, what you want to do is, if you have a decent enough PC, um, I would really recommend, I would really recommend. So I would highly recommend setting your frame size to 4K, and you might be questioning, why 4K if I don't even record in 4K? This is why you want to set it to 4K, because YouTube actually limit the quality of your video if it's only 1080p. YouTube will use a worse compressor, they won't use VP9 on your videos, they'll use AVC or something. Which makes your videos look horrible! I've had this for years, and it sucks. So, what you want to do is, please promise me, go something with 1440p or 4K, because it will do you favours, it will save so much of your time. Alright, so after you've done that, you want to go down to variable bitrate, you want to make sure it's selected, you want to set this to 240 million, and you want to make sure your average BPS is 135 million. Okay, so if you have a NVIDIA GPU, you can just select this or make your videos render so much faster. My render times went from 5 hours to 1 hour, literally by just putting this on. And press it, so once you go down to press it, you want to go down to high quality, click high quality, RC mode, you just want to set this to VBR high quality. Okay, so here we are at audio. So this is where it gets very important because for some people, they have issues rendering videos if their audio bitrate is not the same as their recording, which is really strange. But uh, I'm going to show you how you can fix this. So what you want to do is you want to go and you want to go to your... Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to where you last recorded the file, aka where the file is located. You want to right click it so it says properties. You're going to click properties, you want to go to details. And you want to go underneath audio to bitrate and you want to copy this. That way, if you have any issues with your audio, it will be fixed. You just want to set this to the right value and then you can move on. Next is system. You can just pretty much keep this basically the same. And project. So I would recommend setting this to best. And all you have to do here is basically just keep it default. Go OK. And now you can render the video. If you want to see me render a video, my recording's probably going to lag, but blop. And as you can see, we're recording. We're rendering the video. So, you know, if you enjoyed this and it helped you a ton, consider subscribing. It would mean a lot. But anyways, thanks for watching. This has been Getting YouTube. And peace. Peace.